Welcome. I, uh, thanks for coming out on a cold morning to City Hall. I am extremely, Council Councilwoman Simpson, good to see you. I'm ex extremely honored to be joined by representatives of the city workers that really make this city run. And I think in particular, we've noticed over the last several days with the cold snow that 99% of what the city's about is delivering basic services. And I just want to introduce, you know, who I'm joined with. First, from Code, we have Steve Calais, the president. We have Jeff Harmon, the first vice president. We have Shadrian Johnson, the second vice president. From Public Services, Maurice Brown okay. is here. And, and, Kelly and Kelly Malone, of course. And Maurice literally has been spending the last week driving around the city in a snow truck, making the city uh, drivable. I want to thank him and all of uh, his folks for all the hard work that they're doing. And of course, I'm joined by Mount Alter of uh, the firefighters, Local 48, He's the president of the union. Kathy Harrell, the president of the Fraternal Order of Police, as uh, most of you probably already know, had a death in her family and can't be here, but is with us in spirit. And uh, of course, my colleague, uh, Councilman Kevin Flynn. We are here to just outline some issues related to where we think things are with the streetcar. And the timing of today is critical because, uh, as we know, the federal government uh, is giving us a deadline of midnight of Thursday night, uh, one week from today. And so if there are any opportunities to move the project forward, I believe that the public uh, and those interested in trying to partner for that should be told exactly how, how that can happen. Um, the people I just introduced and the workers that they represent are my North Stars. What I care about is that we reduce the violence by making sure we have enough cops on the street. What I care about is that we stop the brownouts so that if you or your loved one, God forbid, needs an ambulance, that somebody will get there quickly. And we have brownouts every single day. What I care about is that your roads are drivable, that your garbage is picked up. And we have people here delivering that service every single day. And I care, by the way, about the many, many professionals that allow Cincinnati City Hall to operate. I care about making sure we have enough building inspectors to crack down on blighted properties so we can revitalize not just one neighborhood, but all the neighborhoods um, that I think deserve as much attention as, as every other. And the fact of the matter is that we know that the streetcar is a very expensive project. And a lot of money has been spent, and a lot of additional capital dollars will have to be spent in order to complete the first phase. But I th what I think has gotten less attention than deserves is the fact that the streetcar will come with a significant new ongoing operating liability that will last forever. And that is a liability that we don't currently have. As most people have reported and know, we already have a budget problem. Estimates range that we have a structural, structurally imbalanced budget of roughly 20 million a year. And Kevin Flynn and I and the majority of council are committed to fixing that. And we want to fix it in a way that makes sure that these folks can do their job and do the job that you have asked them to do and that you are paying for them to do. And I think it's extremely important to remember that that is what it's, what's at stake here. And I do not believe and I will not support a project that jeopardizes our ongoing operations uh, in our budget. I just don't think we need new liabilities when we already have issues tackling our current liabilities. And so 
I want the public to know where I stand, and, and Kevin, I'm sure, will also share his thoughts as to where he is. But I want people to know that I believe that this community cannot afford new ongoing liabilities that last forever. Having said that, there have been a number of conversations in recent days, and the supporters uh, of the streetcar have said publicly that they, they agree with me and Kevin that the city should not pay the operating expenses of the streetcar. And they believe that the, the money should come from private sources or from fares or from corporate sponsorships or from advertising or whatever it could be. And I have listened, I have met with the leadership of the streetcar supporters, and I'm here to say that I'm willing to partner with them if they can guarantee the operating expenses before we incur additional costs. And I know that that is a enormous undertaking, and I know that it may not be possible. And frankly, if they can't come forward with those kinds of operating dollars, I won't be upset. It's a huge obligation. But it's an obligation that I believe that these guys shouldn't have to bear, and the citizens shouldn't have to suffer. I have offered my help to the leadership to work with the business community to see if they can come up with the operating dollars. Now bear in mind that if they do that, it would still require us to take on enormous additional capital debt. Enormous additional capital debt which, frankly, if I had to choose, wouldn't have been my first priority. But people have asked, is there any middle ground? Is there any opportunity for compromise? And I'm here to say that I will try. And I've listened, and I'm willing to work with people if they can help take the liability off of the basic services of the city uh, on an ongoing basis. And with that, I'd like to give Kevin Flynn an opportunity to, to make some statements. Thanks, John. Yeah. This, this is a proposal that I don't know that anyone will be 100% happy with, which probably means that it's at least the basis for coming up with a solution. And that's what we're trying to do is find solutions. We have spent a tremendous amount of capital, a lot more than we had last May. Um, we don't have all the time in the world to sit and think and ruminate on how we can make this move forward. So, you know, I think the mayor has made a tremendous move forward here saying, let's commit the capital dollars. And if the streetcar is as successful as people hope it to be, as people want it to be, as many people in this city believe it will be, then the operating dollars won't be a burden on the people that are guaranteeing this. This is really about risk management. This is saying the risk of this new endeavor is not going to be borne on the backs of our basic services, that our operations will be able to continue for our city. And if the streetcar is a success and the monies come in, the guarantee will never have to be, be called because the streetcar will pay for itself. And it will give us then the opportunity to explore all of these wonderful ideas that people have been coming up with including council member P.G. Sittenfeld and, and others that want to explore new and different ways of funding 
the street car. We don't have the luxury of putting those things in place in the next seven days. But if we can get the guarantee, if we can shift the risk management from our operations budget, which, as the mayor indicated, already has a deficit in it that we have to start tackling starting in January, and shift that away from the operations budget, there may be a chance that this can be the win-win that everybody hopes for. 